My brothers and sisters in Christ, I am Reverend Phyllis Glasgow Jack, deacon in the parish of St. Phyllis Mesopotamia. I have chosen for the reflection today St. John's Gospel, chapter 10, verses 31 to 42. Let us pray. God of all power and might, yet loving and merciful, we praise and thank you for your bountiful grace which you bestow on us each day renewed. Thank you for enabling us to share the Lenten reflections, and we pray that those who deliver them and those who listen would be encouraged and strengthened in many and varied ways. Let your Holy Spirit continue to guide and protect us as we pay heed to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding thus provided, believing that we are being led into all truth, and may we joyfully participate in the Paschal Feast. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. The Jews took up stones again to stone him. John 10, 31. I speak to you in the name of God, who is Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The word again signifies that there was an earlier or previous occasion when the Jews tried to stone Jesus. Why did the Jews want to stone Jesus? If stoning was a form of punishment for wrongdoing, what was the wrongdoing for which the Jews accused Jesus? On both occasions, Jesus was accused of having a demon. The earlier occasion in John 8, 59, when they picked up stones to throw at him, he hid himself and went out of the temple. There the Jews were going to punish him for lying because they did not believe him when he said, before Abraham was, I am. While in the reading for today, he is accused of blasphemy by claiming to be God's son and being one with God. It should be noted that on both occasions, the Jews were divided, the believers and the unbelievers or non-believers. Where do we stand in these episodes? Are we like the believing Jews, knowing Jesus as God's son, being with God from the beginning and being one with him? If we are, then Jesus is saying to us too, as he said to the Jews in John 8, 31 and 32, if you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. On the other hand, however, if we are like the unbelieving Jews, Jesus is saying to us, as he said to them in John 10, 38, If even though you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may know and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Do we believe the works of Jesus? Have we experienced his works in our lives? Is he still working miracles in our lives? What about his healing hand that he daily lays upon us? Has Jesus touched us spiritually, physically, mentally, socially, psychologically, or otherwise? Then as Jesus has asked us to believe in his works, let us do so in faith. May Almighty God continue to bless us, and may his word always be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our parts and strength to our lives. Amen. Amen. Have a peaceful day, everyone.